Saturday night, Las Vegas, Nevada. And the world is ready to watch the action, which will take place inside the Octagon. We are at the sold-out MGM Grand Garden Arena, and there is not a better place to be. The energy in this building tonight is electric. Hi again, everybody. I'm Mike Goldberg. Welcome once again to the Ultimate Fighting Championship. It's been months in the making. Five rounds of action for nothing less than the most prestigious title in the sport today, the UFC Championship. As always, I'm here with my partner, Joe Rogan. Joe, this is the fight that everybody is talking about. Tonight's main event for the championship. I can't remember being this excited for a fight, Mike, and you know how pumped up I get for fights. We have a champion widely regarded as one of the top pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the sport today. Then we have the challenger coming in here with so much momentum, a guy who, in my opinion, represents the biggest threat our champion has faced in his entire career. This is going to be an awesome fight. Well, you said it, partner. Great night of fights ahead of us, highlighted by what could be one of the greatest championship fights of all time. But before we get things started, let's take a look at our rules of the octagon. Three judges score the bout, the bout duration, three five-minute rounds. Tonight's championship fight is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. A 10-point must scoring system is in effect, with the round winner gaining 10 points, his opponent nine or less, based on effective striking, grappling, aggression, and octagon control. We begin our night with a welterweight matchup between Dan the Outlaw Hardy and Martin the Hitman Campman. A welterweight striker with proven submission skills, Martin the Hitman Campman has an impressive highlight reel of stoppages inside the octagon. Tonight, this versatile warrior is looking to add to his reel. A relentless striker with dynamic stand-up skills, Dan the Outlaw Hardy is always a threat wherever the fight takes place. With fast hands and accurate punches, he'll be looking to make quick work of his opponent tonight. the world-famous octagon once again. Martin Campman is known primarily for his striking ability. He has great kicks and knockout power in his punches. He trains hard on his ground game as well and has very underrated submissions. Martin Campman, ready to throw down and put on a show. Making his way to the world-famous Octagon. Dan Hardy is one of the most technical strikers in the 170-pound division. And if you saw his fight against GSP, you know he's very, very tough to submit. He's primarily known for his knockout power, so look for him to try to keep this fight standing and make a brawl out of it. Dan Hardy, fired up and ready to go. Our Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Boost Mobile. We are now set for the official introductions, and with that, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. And now, it's time to begin our first bout of the evening. Three rounds in the UFC Walter White Division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Martin, the Hitman Catman. And now, fighting out of the red corner. 
This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Nottingham, England, Jan the Outlaw Hardy. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Eve Levine. Eve Levine, our referee. Mike Goldberg with Joe Rogan. And we are ready to start round one. Are you ready, sir? Are you ready? Martin Campman, Dan Hardy. And we are Fight. underway. Young British fighter Dan Hardy has exploded onto the UFC scene, and he's done it with some incredible striking, Joe. Yes, he has, Mike. He's got a great background in Muay Thai as well as a purple belt in 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu under Eddie Bravo. Nice double leg. The crowd in favor of the outlaw, Dan Hardy. He ain't that one. In the full guard here. Posture's up. Great job on the reversal. Side control. Oh, boom. Oh, oh this and one another. is getting ugly. Half guard. Oh, he gets reversed. And into side control. He ate that one. Oh, Campman is bleeding. Pushing his opponent away. Oh, he lets him up. Oh, body shot. Nice body kick. One six. And good right hand counter. Oh, looping hook there. Use your face. Back nice. and forth. Keep moving to the outside. You won't come forward. Body shot. Oh, ducking. Oh, big right hand. He's down. Boom. Huge ground and pound, Joe. I, I can't believe he survived that. Oh, reversal. Side control now. Full, Full mount. mount. Oh, we got reversed. He's throwing a leg up, looking for a triangle. It doesn't look like he's got it. It looks a little loose here. Wow, great oh, job done escapes. defensively. Fighter on the bottom is, is trying to escape, but he's unable to. Oh! And Man. again! He loves oh, another, another one. big strike. Something needs to change, or this fight is going to be over. And that's the end of round one. Big shot at the end of the round, Joe. That looked very close to being declared a knockout. Yeah, that was a beautiful shot. I think a few more seconds, and it would have been over. Bring out that combat, Nate. Get yourself. Okay. Good? Okay. He's tired. His legs are tired from trying to hold that big pull. Okay, push the pace. Push the pace right Let's take a look at some of the action from that round, Mike. This is that huge shot very nearly ended the fight. And here's that punch that hit right on target. And here's that submission escape. Great display of ground defense here. Solid wrestling skills on display in that round, Mike. You can catch him all day long in that triangle and that armbar. You can catch him all day long. The beautiful Shandella with us tonight. Are you ready, sir? Are you ready? Second round. Fight, fight schedule for three five-minute rounds. That's a pretty good-sized cut now on Campman, Mike. Both guys staying in tight. He caught the leg, and another takedown. Beautiful. He ate that one. Posture's up. Oh, he got reversed. 
Reversal. Very nice. Into the guard. Side control. Into half guard. And back to full guard. Back to side control. He's got half guard. He's in the guard now. Side control again. Oh, another one he landed. Half guard. He's in guard here. Joe, this is smart strategy right here, moving his opponent up against the cage, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to definitely impede his mobility. And into full mount. Two minutes remains in the second. Control his posture. Good job, hip escaping there. Moves to half guard. Nice sprawl. Good takedown. Full mount here. If he can flatten out his opponent, Joe, he can put in a choke here with both hooks in. One minute remains in the second round. Forty-five seconds remains. Now into side control. Half guard. Inside the guard. Pushes him off of the feet. And that is the end of round two. A very close round, Joe. Who do you think's ahead on the judges' scorecards? That last round could have gone either way. Going into the third, it's still anybody's fight, Mike. If he gets that back, you fight that two-on-one. If he gets that body lock, you gotta fight it off. You swim that arm. Now, on the ground, you can catch him all day long in that triangle and that arm bar. You can catch him all day long, okay? Let's go to the replay of that round, Mike. Nice, stiff counter right here. And look at the speed on this takedown here. So much athleticism. And here you can see the very well-timed counter. Slipping out, back in, and connecting. Some good groundwork in that round, Mike. If he gets that body lock, you got to fight it off. Ready to start round three. There's the beautiful Brittany. Are you ready, sir? Are you ready? Here we go. Round three. Fight. Last round. Double underhooks. Body shots when you're in that tight. Get him back and up. Shake him back. Working the clinch. Take his arms to the knee. He's got the clinch. Look down and go up. Pressuring his opponent up against the fence here. Look at the battle for control here. Oh, big left hook. Uh, they're going to close it up again, right to the clinch. He's got the clinch up against the cage. Combinations in tight. Under three minutes now. Oh, nice left and a right. Oh, answered by a big body shot. Oh, he hit him with a big left hook. What an onslaught of attack here. Oh, spinning back kick. Oh, but he oh, ate a left hand. Left. He's got the clinch. Hey, go get in there. Hold his head. Stay busy. Knees. 90 seconds remains in the fight. Nice job, double leg. Campman is breathing heavy right now, Mike. And he lets him back up. He's got a clinch. Back him up. Bigger combo when you hit him. Left arm inside. Into the road. Control the clinch. 
Nice punches, and the battle for a dominant position continues. Let's go on Twenty seconds, it's over. Push forward, push forward. Push kick. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. And the fight is over. Stop, Round it's over. three is complete. Joe, neither man embarrassed himself, but neither man really put on a show in that fight. It wasn't the best fight we've ever seen, but it was a good one. All right, let's go to the replay, Mike. This was that counter. Such unbelievable timing on that. And a punishing counter right here. You can see all it takes is one opening and bang. And here's that lightning fast takedown. Amazing wrestling technique. The judges have rendered their decision. And here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score it 29-27. Hardy. 28-28. And 29-27. Play the winner by majority decision. Dan, the outlaw, Hardy! Dan Hardy wins the fight.